Welcome to another breaking news from Destinations A to Z. My name is Glenn Bailey. As promised from the September 28th video, I told you if they had some more updates about the I-26, I-40 situation, I would update you accordingly. Effective immediately as of today, Interstate 40 will be closed until September of 2025. Yes, you heard that correctly. September of 2025. The damage along the I-40 corridor at the North Carolina-Tennessee state line is more extensive than anyone ever thought. I will be showing you pictures of that so that way you can see for your eyes and the erosion actually went over into the westbound lanes as well and it's actually just floating in midair as you'll see. I-26 in Irwin will be closed until December of 2024. They are going to attempt to make an interim correction to get at least one lane open going in each direction until they can get a permanent fix put in place. But again, both of them are going to remain closed. They have made alternate routes available, and it goes back to what I said just two days ago. And the alternate routes from which you will be able to see here on the maps is I-77 through North Carolina through Withful, Virginia and also I-75 down through Chattanooga and Atlanta, Georgia to 85. Right here, you can see the extensive damage along I-40 corridor. You can see right up next to the road and to the bend that the road totally disappears. Right here, you can see the length of it, and it just keeps going. And right here is in the bend on another curve. And then Coming up next here, you see it actually goes over under the westbound lanes. It's just hanging in midair. This is right next to the tunnels, and you see where it's actually fell off, including the guardrail here. The shoulder is totally gone and under the eastbound lanes. And then here you can see, looking back toward the tunnels, it's just simply devastating and will remain closed until September of 2025. The alternate routes we'll show you here coming up in a few minutes. Here's another section where you see the guardrail has totally fell off. You can see this one is right at the edge of the slow lane and the eastbound. Coming up right here, you'll see the alternate routes I discussed two days ago to I-75. And then here is the I-77. This is the official detours available right now to get to Western North Carolina. Here you can see all the roads that are still closed in eastern Tennessee and western North Carolina. It's still absolutely devastating, so if you don't have to travel, please don't. Here you can see the extensive amount of rain that western North Carolina received along with South Carolina. Here's I-26 that will remain closed until December of 2024 in Irwin, Tennessee. You can see all the debris that's came up onto the bridges. Here you can see the both bridges, eastbound and westbound lanes, both destroyed right here at the edge. Here's a side view showing you the profile of it. And then here is actually showing you how many roads are still closed. And it's just simply unbelievable. Here's an alternate route, exit 23 off of Interstate 81, which is the Bulls Gap Greenville exit. And you can actually go toward Greenville and take Highway 70 South. And it's an alternate route. It's very curvy. It's a two-lane road, mountainous road. And I would not recommend taking semis or large RVs over it due to the simple facts. You do have a lot of switchbacks. So please take that into consideration. Hope this information has been helpful. Hope you have safe travels. Please share this out with everyone so everyone We'll know the situation here in eastern Tennessee, western North Carolina in, in regards to the roads. And remember, keep everyone in your prayers in all these states where it's affected. This is never a good situation as everybody is in a state of emergency. That being the case, thanks for watching. Remember, safe travels. Hope to see you guys on the next one.